Hey everybody, it's Tiffany and Arlen, the Patio Gardeners. And uh, Tiffany, we're doing a little update of our garden just to kind of see what we have growing. So a lot's changed. Uh, since our last video, we've got some pretty nice big plants here. Uh, what is this here? So this is the yellow squash. And this plant has been quite prolific for us. Yeah. We did have a bit of a problem with some blossom end rot and lost about six squashes to that, but now everything seems to be doing okay. Yeah, this plant is huge. Yeah, you can see there are just, there's another one that we just harvested one yesterday and here's another huge one that we should probably harvest today or tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so we're in full squash season. Yeah, we've also got a uh, zucchini green squash over there that's that's a little slower to produce, but it's it's got some stuff growing. Um, we have a lot of tomatoes growing. We haven't harvested any yet, but um, boy, we've got a lot of these little itty bitty things these growing. These are the golden cherry tomatoes. Yep. And we have, uh, I think, uh, five different tomato varieties that we're growing this year. Uh, I was planning, planning to do only four, but um, the nursery kind of screwed up and wasn't sure uh, which of one type of tomato they did, so they gave us two, uh, and it turned out to be two different types. Um, we've been harvesting some cucumber over here uh, on our cucumber trellis. We have uh, six different cucumber plants, I believe. Well, it's two varieties, but six plants. Two, yeah. So we've been harvesting these. They've been getting nice and large. See, there's another one growing here. Yeah. And there's uh, some big ones down towards the bottom. Oh, are there some really big there's ones There's a huge there? one down here. Uh-oh, we better harvest that. We gotta go today. Yeah, look at how big that is. Wow, okay, all right. This uh, trellis that we got uh, from a local hardware store is actually working great for us. Um, it's been, the cu cucumber, we barely had to train it and it's just been vining up it. It's really nice. Uh, we got, these here are some San Marzano tomatoes here, which are like the, the ones that they use in all the um, Italian sauces, like a red pasta sauce. It's a, it's a little bit of a uh, specialty tomato. So that'll be fun to, to do some sauces with. Um, and then we have something that's new that I don't know if we talked about last time. We tried to grow uh, rhubarb in here. Didn't really work out, so we just planted some extra radishes in here. But Tiffany, what is this big bed here? So this box used to be on our porch that we had to deconstruct to take down the tree. Yeah, porch is gone. We did a separate, uh, back deck is gone. Did a separate video about that that you can find on our channel. And so we just relocated it to here and our neighbor has a ton of strawberry plants so he gave us about six of them yeah. and they are taking over now. There's also some weeds in here too of course. But yeah but this is looking really good. We of course did not get any strawberries this year because this was a late addition but next year we are very hopeful that if we keep them nicely covered with straw that they'll overwinter and then we'll have strawberries next yeah. spring. So take a look at this. These are some radishes, there's two of them, that were growing in this little uh, bed here, this little, uh, you know, planter. And we found them lying in the strawberry bed with bites taken out of them. Uh, Tiffany, what's our explanation for this? It's probably the squirrels. It's probably squirrels. Uh, we've read that um, squirrels apparently will take one little bite out of something. If they're looking for water, they're thirsty. They're not actually hungry, so they just take one little bite. This happens with tomato plants as well. So one thing we've done here as an experiment is we've put a little container with some water in it um, as a way to, to give those animals something to drink so maybe they're not going to be quite as eager to uh, dig up some radishes and take a bite out of them. We'll see if it works. <laughs> I'm just surprised they went for a radish. Yeah, some of these are kind of spicy. <laughs> in any case, um, so in this bed we have some uh, we have some more radishes. We've been harvesting a lot of these. They've gotten quite big. They are uh, so spicy yeah, now. These are the longer you let them grow, the spicier they get. So these are cherry giant radishes, and boy, you can see. I don't know if you can see how big these are. These are really really big. So they are really really spicy. Um, next door we have some multicolored carrots here, some heirloom carrot varieties. We haven't harvested any of these yet. They're not quite large enough to be harvested yet. But over here we've got some eggplants growing. Look at how many lovely eggplants we have growing. 
I don't know if you can see or how well you can see, but we've got just a lot of these eggplants. So that's pretty exciting to see one eggplant uh, plant and have so many eggplants. The Hansel eggplants. Hansel eggplants, yeah, they seem to be really prolific. Uh, our tomato plants are pretty much overgrowing the cages that we have, a lot of them, you can see here. And uh, they, over, they all have tomatoes on them. They all have tomatoes on them. And here in the last bed, we've planted some more lettuce. Um, so that we can get some more greens. So that's what we have growing in our garden. We'd love to hear There's updates. There's one thing we haven't showed that's oh, kind of cool. What is that? Okay. The bell peppers. The bell peppers. Okay. Yeah, so we're growing some uh, heirloom bell peppers here. They're going to be purple. Look at how beautiful. Which is a really nice color. Yeah. These are cool. I'm glad you mentioned these. Um, yeah, so this is this is this is what we have growing. So we'd love to hear uh, what you have growing in your garden. So feel free to uh, leave a comment and let us know how things are going this season. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.